In our previous video, we showed you these awards and how we received them. And that video was very, very exciting. And we didn't have too much time to talk about the awards themselves. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I think these have been made and with what machines. So let's get straight into showing you. So we're going to start off with our one on the left here. This is our copy of the certificate from YouTube itself. Now instead of paper, which they have given us one, they've also given us one in Perspex. Now this one is quite interesting because all you, that you have here is a very thick piece of Perspex and it's got a very nice back piece where you can actually hang it up. And this is something that's just glued on. So I'm pretty sure this accessory is something we can actually laser cut with from another piece of Perspex with these notches out and then stick it on top here and then you can hang it on a wall. But while we're on the back here, as you can see, they've used double-sided tape to hold on this piece of silver. So my initial thoughts that this is silver vinyl, but when I see the double-sided tape from the other side, I'm more leaning towards a thin layer of silver material. Now saying that, I don't see why you can't use silver vinyl and rather just apply it directly here. And before you go and stick on the piece that holds it onto a wall with a nail, why don't we just print directly on top of the vinyl? So from that said, I think the easiest way to do this is to take your UV hybrid printer and if you don't have white ink and a double head, then that's something that you're gonna need, especially for the red printed item here, the play button itself. So I would print this on UV onto silver vinyl and then apply it to this Perspex, which looks like five mils, and then again, laser cut that piece that holds it onto the wall and then glue that on with hot glue or some super glue. Now for the one in the middle, and now this is our main award. This one intrigues me the most out of the three that we received because this has got the most attention to detail and it's also the most complicated putting it together. Now, from what I've seen, everything that you see here, the first thing we wanna say is that having a close look at our print that's on here, I would have said that this is probably pad printed or silk screened onto this aluminum here. But after looking closer, I see slight lines. Now that means that it's UV printed. Now, I might be wrong, but that's just from my experience. Having a look at the actual item itself and how it's been pieced together. There's a lot of aluminium to this and it looks like everything just slides into itself. So this has definitely been cut out by a router or extruded and then pieced together. And then at the back here, we have got a nice felt so it doesn't scratch the wall wherever you hang it up. And then you've got two holes for your nails that are on the wall to hook it on. So the felt, that's very simple to get. You're gonna to go to a material shop, you're gonna use self-adhesive uh, glue, roll it on and stick that felt on. That's probably the easiest part to this. If I was to say how to make it, well, to be honest with you, you would need a flatbed printer. That's the first thing you need, and that's just to print onto the aluminum. Then the next thing that we see here is we've got a small little play button as well as a mirror. Now, <clears throat> the play button, that can be something that is again routed out of aluminium. And then for the actual mirror, you actually get Perspex mirror that has already got a glazing on the, on the back side so that it looks exactly like a mirror. And that's something that you can just cut out and it's probably just a square or rectangle sitting behind this that's glued there. So the next thing I wanna look at here is the actual frame. So we cannot extrude aluminium nor routing it is going to be easy for us because we have to buy blocks, solid blocks of metal. And that being said, you'll have to get a solid piece, route out everything in between and inside so that you can clip all these pieces together. So my opinion on how the easiest way to make this is, now I'm gonna turn this around just to explain to you. So we want the flat side here to be brushed aluminum, but however, the back side is covered. So what if we got a solid block of aluminium and we routed it out inside so it becomes hollow and at the same time we route out the middle for the play button. Then all we need to do is from behind stick that mirror 
as well as the play button from the, the top. And then we add a piece on the back and put the felt on. Then we, once that is done, I would say put it in the flatbed printer and UV this piece here. And that's how I think this is made. Now that we finished with that one, I'm gonna be moving over to my absolute favorite one, which is the actual play button that you receive from YouTube. Now, this has to be my favorite, and the reason for it is because it is made out of solid aluminum. First off, let's go to the back. As you can see, the back and the front are the same finish. So this is something that's called brushed aluminum. Now, the best way to achieve this, in my opinion, is by using a router and very, very, very fine detail here. You need to make sure that when you're routing this out, you do it in a certain direction to leave it with that brushed finish. And as you can see, it runs from right to left and not from up to down. And that's something very important because it makes the item look a lot better. We're gonna put this down quickly so that we can actually talk about this print here. Now, again, if you're looking at this with a quick glance, I would say that this is pad printed or silk screen. But again, having a final look at it, and the easiest way is in the bigger section here, there's slight lines. Now, don't get confused between the lines that are in the brushed aluminum coming through, because you would actually see it underneath, not rather on top. Now, if you look close enough on top, it definitely looks like it's been UV printed because there are slight lines of the head passing from left to right. And that is very simple there, you just need white ink and a flatbed printer. Now for the easy part. Again, because we are going to route this out of a solid block of metal, the same goes for the front here. So, nothing fancy, all we do is go ahead and route this play button out and drop it down about three millimeters, maybe even four, and then we go and laser cut that Perspex mirror that we already have, and we put a blob of hot glue and just push that mirror in, and then your ward is actually finished. Now, except for this last piece here, which is at the bottom, and as you can see, there's a little bit of print there, that's just showing you who made it, but there's a bit of felt here. Now this, I would assume, is again, just either hot glued on or with self-adhesive glue, and that is so that you can rest it on a table to show people without it being flat. And then that means you can see both sides. So a very little ingenious idea to make sure that this is displayable. Well, there you have it, guys. That's my opinion on how these were made. And I'm fairly confident that buying the machines from AM will allow you to actually make these. You just need to pay close attention to detail so that you can do this as close as possible to this. And again, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. AI may eventually take over, but what's for certain is that smart machines are already operating all over the world right now. So stay ahead with am.co.za. For 11 years, they've been leader in CNC and printing machines like CNC rotors, large format printers, vinyl cutters, laser cutters, plasma cutters, DTF printers, and many more. Visit am.co.za showrooms in Sunny Rock, Joburg, and Montenegro Gardens, Cape Town, or WhatsApp Hi to 060-600-6000 for more info. am.co.za. Achievement matters.